Welcome to Painting with Manta. Painting with Manta. Painting with Manta. Painting with Manta. Today, we're going to make a generic isekai. To start off, we need of course, a main character. So let's go ahead and draw him real quick. When drawing an isekai protagonist, make sure to make him from the same country as you. After all, we both know that you as a generic fantasy writer, you have zero awareness of different cultures. You might be thinking that being ignorant about different cultures would be bad for world building. Well, here's the secret. Uh, we, we don't do that. But if you really want to try it, you can always make it up as you go. And remember, nothing is offensive as long as it's in the continent of Quarnaria. But you can always go for the blank template Japanese protagonist. That way you can set him to a world where he's the only one with black eyes or hair. And maybe call him the Dark Shadow Knight or something. Cause that's very cool. Make sure that the MC has no distinct features. Now let's give our protagonist a background. You have three options to choose from. And only three. One, a high school slash middle school student. The reason? So we can target that sweet sweet main demographic and have them self insert. Two, a depressed and overworked salary man. The reason? So you can make up a BS reason why he's good at something. Three, a neat. An absolute loser with no skills and no motivation. That will become the strongest, most charismatic person the moment he's isekai. The reason? See category number one. My one is gonna be a Japanese middle schooler. His name? Well, let's put an X for now. What's that? You accidentally made an original character? <laughs> no need to worry. We don't make mistakes. Just happy little accidents. Just make sure to give him the personality of a cardboard box and you'll be fine. Now for the fun part, how he gets isekai. You can get creative with this one. Anything from reading a book to a turtle falling on his head. It doesn't matter as long as it puts him six feet under. If you can't think of anything good, you can always seek help from your friendly neighborhood highway. For this one, I'm gonna go with a good old fashioned hero summoning. Nothing spells fantasy adventure like forcing children to fight your war. Let me draw the magic circle real quick. Perfect. Now let's draw the city he'll get Isekai to. It has to be something interesting. Something that spells medieval fantasy. Let's start with a castle of course. It has to be in the middle of a grassland. We don't want mountains obstructing our view, now do we? Then make the buildings where the commoners will reside. A wall that surrounds the town to protect it from danger. And don't forget a river that passes through the city. After all, the people need to drink. Finally, add a little bit of color here some trees and a smidge of shade in there and voila your very own original fantasy city now that the hero is isekai we of course need to make him into the strongest existence in that well plane of existence you can get creative with this one just use anything you want as a power let me show you the trick that i use first you get a random container with a mix of objects inside you reach in and there you have it. Our hero will have the power to turn fish into zombies. Easy, right? Now for the final part, the heroine, or the heroines more like. Because naturally, it's a harem. For this part, you'll want to close your eyes and draw a silhouette of a girl. And you're done. You don't need to double check or anything, since she will basically serve as the MC's keychain and lose functionality whenever she's separated from him. 
If you're feeling a bit Promethean, you can always give her a bigger presence. Either that or make her into a lolly. There's no in between. What's that? You want to make a strong and muscular heroine? Ew. Who the hell would want that? That's disgusting. Strong woman? <laughs> Not in my trash. And that's all. Congratulations! You now have your very own best selling isekai. Main plot? Ha! That's the secret. You never need one. You can have the character aim for the demon lord or have no plot at all. It makes no difference. And that's the end of today's session of Painting with Manta. I hope you enjoyed. And remember, for the title, use the first page of your manuscript. The longer and dumber, the better. That way you'll get those curious clicks. You know what? I take back what I said about the strong woman. I mean, look at this independent young lady. Hello, my character Kun. My name is Nana. My character Kun is strong. Nana likes strong. Nana will not begin copulation. Do not resist. Run, dude. I made her and I'm scared of her.